Wrexham FC, the football club in North Wales that are on the rise. This is different to my usual type of video today. I am going to be bringing you a sort of a mini documentary talking about Wrexham FC's rise in the past 12 months. We're going to be talking everything about the takeover, new managers, bonus schemes, just everything that's gone on at the club. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to get straight into this. Please make sure to hit the red subscribe button before we get any further. Um, we've hit 1.8k, which I can't thank you enough. Hit a, hit a like, sorry. And yeah, let's get into it. Wrexham FC are a small club based in North Wales who play in the National League, having spent 14 torrid years in non-league football. Wrexham fans were losing hope after losing a playoff final, finishing second with 98 points and surviving by two points in the 2019 season. Wrexham fans, like I said, started to give up and we needed a change. Nothing was going right. We were becoming un unlucky every year. And yeah, that's when the takeover happened. On the 6th of February 2021, Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney, two Hollywood stars, brought the club. Um, took 100% control, brought us for £2 million. And their first words were, invest in a per permanent training facility, explore the renovation of the ground and always beat Chester. Now those words, coming from two people who've probably never heard of Wrexham a year ago, it, it was quite surreal to be honest. Um, further money as well, £50,000 was invested into the women's football programme at Wrexham Football Club, which was great to see they care about the women's and not just the men's. And yeah, they bought the club for £2 million. And I think being a Wrexham fan for the whole of my life, basically, 2012, um, seeing some of the highs of winning the FA Trophy, seeing some of the lows, um, like less than 3,000 fans turn up to watch a Wrexham game, seeing the fans leave early, seeing us survive by two points, seeing us bottom of the league halfway through the season, was it was pain. Um, but then we've had good times like winning the FA Trophy, uh, playing Stoke as well. Th now we we can't be sad. We've got everything we need to become a good football club like we used to be. On the 11th of February, uh, less than a week than the pair took over Wrexham Football Club, they took no hesitation in exciting the fans as they partnered up with Aviation Gin, Ryan Reynolds' gin company um, to sort their own Wrexham label gin, which as you can expect, sold out immediately across worldwide and this was the start of something special. 16th of February was kind of a day to remember as Wrexham beat Woking 2-0 in the first game under the new ownership of R.R. McReynolds with thousands of new Wrexham fans watching worldwide. Um, usually a game against Woking wouldn't be wouldn't just be a normal game but this one was one that goes down in history as it was Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney's first win as new Wrexham investors. 26th of February was a day that shocked quite a few Wrexham fans as the, the pair installed a new bonus scheme which was introduced as £200 for each win, £50 for a draw uh, those two bonuses were all if the club remained in the playoffs and there was a £250,000 bonus to share between every player if the club go up. And of, of course, you know, we didn't go up, um, but we did get a fair few wins and a fair few draws. Um, so, yeah, the bonus scheme was only like a week and a half after they became the new owners. Ever since the bonus was added, results improved and we moved closer and closer to that inevitable playoff spot. We started to be beating teams comfortably, hitting three or four past some teams, hitting four, two weeks, two games on the bounce, sorry, um, and losing very, f well, n losing not much. We just seemed to be a completely different team. A lot of players came out of their shells and just blossomed really well. Uh, only five losses in 22 games, but yeah, unfortunately, we fell at the final hurdle. 
Um, we missed out on playoffs after failing to beat Dagenham and Redbridge on the final day. We picked up a one all draw, but seeing Bromley beat Notts County 1-0 meant they nicked the seventh place playoff spot. And we had Agony missing out by one point, finishing eighth. Yeah, after the takeover was announced, the results improved and Wrexham fans really did start to think it was going to be our year uh, getting playoffs and I could even see us maybe going as far as the final. Um, but again, it must have been stage fright. We fell. Don't get me wrong, Dagenham are a good, are a good team, but we could have beaten them. We could have easily beaten them. We should have beaten them before the takeover was there. 2-0 uh, at Bottling in the last minute. Yeah, it was disappointing. I was angry. But yeah, we've always got next season to improve on that. It is about the documentary called Welcome to Wrexham. The Tate, the trailer touched many worldwide um, with over 1.5 million people viewing it on Ryan Reynolds' YouTube channel and hundreds of thousands of people viewing it on social media. Um, obviously, we all know it with that Welsh mother or woman whatever you want to call her that was doing the hilarious welsh uh speaking welsh and they didn't have a clue it was great um it's going to be published on fx entertainment who mccallany has worked with before and further information will be announced on uk uh broadcasters having failing to get in the playoffs rob and ryan took no hesitation in making a change at the club there was an immediate change as Dean Keats and his coaching staff were sacked just only 24 hours after that draw to Dagenham. Um, they left with immediate effect. The search for new managers started immediately. So on the 2nd of June, the retained list came out for Wrexham. The biggest shocks being Fiat Kelleher, Theo Vassell and Mark Carrington all being released more shock of Kelleher and Vassell as I thought they were very solid uh, in our starting eleven this season. Kelleher has gone on to play for League 2 Bradford under Derek Adams and Carrington's gone to Kidderminster. Vassell is still with our club. Um, the players that were offered new contracts, most of them signed Cameron Green, uh, Hall Johnson, Lainton, Record, Redmond and Young all signed new contracts with Wrexham, either one or two year deals. But unfortunately, we lost club captain Sean Pearson as he departed back to Grimsby Town. The 30th of June as well, this is a huge day and a huge mark for the club as we announced a two-year shirt deal with the internet app TikTok. The sponsor blew thousands of people's minds uh, as they sponsored their first ever football shirt. And as you can guess, with the gin, the shirt sold out within the first two days. Thousands being shipped out worldwide. This is incredible. It's a step up from this kit. Um, yeah, it's a lovely shirt. I would get it, but I think it's in the wash at the minute. But it's a beautiful shirt. And we are still waiting on the away one to come out. The trailer as well, the way they presented it is incredible. As if things couldn't get any better, the next day we appointed the experienced manager he is, Phil Parkinson. Not the Phil Parkinson that manages Ultranum, the Phil Parkinson that's got Bolton to the Championship, uh, got Bradford to the Carlin Cup final, beat Chelsea 4-2 with Bradford, managed Sunderland, um, and we appointed his assistant, Steve Parkin, on a 12-month contract. This blew my mind as well. This was an incredible appointment. Um, he said... That it's been well, the talks have been going on for ages, and Fleur Robinson said there was only one man they were going to appoint, and it was Parkinson. Um, he arrived having obviously recently managed Sunderland in League, in League One, he knows where the club belongs, and it's his job to get us promoted. And he said there's no fear of failure. He's made two signings already Sean Brisley from Port Vale and striker Liam McAlinden from Morecambe. So, yeah, it's been a very strange 12 months, but a surreal 12 months being a Wrexham fan. Obviously, getting TikTok on the shirt, Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney buying us, the cops being done up, hopefully, getting a League One slash Championship experience manager in, Les Reed, Fleur Robinson getting a new pitch, going back to Colliers, it's just, it's 
it's incredible getting Aviation Gin, our Wrexham's own gin company, uh, and gin bottle, obviously. It's just been crazy, and I can't wait to see fans come back to the racecourse ground on the opening day of the Oval. Fingers crossed we will be allowed, because I can see it being 7,500 plus there. They'll, it'll be packed, and the atmosphere is going to be incredible. Hopefully, we can get Robin Ryan over here that is my mini documentary i wouldn't call it a documentary but the club on the rise wrexham fc if you did enjoy press a like subscribe to the channel we're bearing down on 2000 subscribers we're certainly like 196 away so please subscribe hopefully this hopefully a lot of wrexham fans can see the journey and non-wrexham fans see the journey we've had in the past 12 months as it's been nothing but short of crazy um so yeah the gang buys wrexham fc